Today we will be discussing about scavenge space fire. What are the indications and what are the actions need to be taken? Okay. Scavenge fire means it is a fire that occur due to unburned fuel and carbon deposits in scavenge space. In the scavenge space, there will be unburned fuel. There is oil deposit from the unburned fuel and carbon deposits will be there. This when the fire occurs due to this in the scavenge space, this is known as scavenge fire. Means fire occurred due to unburned fuels and carbon deposits in the scavenge space. This is known as scavenge fire. Fire occurred due to unburned fuel and carbon deposits in scavenge space. How scavenge fire is can be detected? It can be detected means scavenge space fire is detected by when under piston scavenge space temperature is increased. That is indication of scavenge space fire. When the under piston scavenge space temperature increase, then we can say there is a there is scavenge space fire. First indication we can say under piston, under piston scavenge space temperature is increased. That means scavenge space fire is there. Then other indication include increase in exhaust and cooling water temperature. There will be increase of temperature of cooling water and exhaust gas. The cooling water and exhaust gas temperature may be will be increased. That's indication of scavenge fire. Then decrease in the engine revolution. That may, that means RPM is reduced. Then exhaust smoke and surging of turbocharger. Then turbocharger surging. That means decrease in RPM or speed, engine revolution. Then black exhaust smoke is coming out from the turbocharger. So these are the indication. Black scavenge space when black exhaust smoke is coming. Then uh, it reduce in engine RPM, turbocharger surging and all. Then when the temperature increases in the scavenge space of a particular unit, the temperature gauge will activate an alarm. Okay. If the temperature increases in a scavenge space of a particular unit, the temperature gauge activ activates an alarm. That is also an indication. As the sound, as soon as the alarm sounds, the auto slowdown of the engine takes place. When the scavenge space alarm comes, then an auto slowdown will automatically takes place. Okay, as the alarm sounds, then auto slowdown takes place. So, what are the actions that we need to be taken in case of scavenge space fire? If an alarm came, so first we need to inform the bridge and chief engineer. First, if you are a duty engineer, first first thing you need to do is we need to inform the bridge and chief engineer and prepare for engine reducing the RPM. Reduce engine speed, slow ahead from the full ahead, reduce the engine to slow ahead. Okay. Then after this, you have to increase the cylinder oil supply, but we have to stop the fuel oil supply. That way, because we need to the cylinder oil supply, lube oil supply should not be stopped. We need to supply cylinder oil supply and we have to supply fuel oil, stop fuel oil supply. Okay. Then then we need to request permission to stop the engine. If the ship is in restricted water where the engine cannot be stopped, allow the fire to we need to allow the fire to extinguish itself by reducing the speed. Automatically, if it is small fire, then it will automatically extinguish. When the bridge permits, then we need to stop the engine. Okay. We need to request permission to stop the engine. If the ship is in restricted water, then we cannot stop. So we we introduce the speed and uh, it, it tries to fire try the fire to automatically stop itself extinguish itself when the bridge permits we have to stop the engine okay if the fire is still burning we can use fixer fire fixer fire waiting extinguisher okay when the fire is still burning we can use fixer fire extinguishing medium okay use fixer fire extinguishing medium if there is still fire then after that we can after the fire is finished and all open scaven doors after the site has been Cool down. After the scavenge space site has been cooled down, we can open the scavenge space door and site after the cool down. We can open the scavenge site after the site has been cooled down. Then after opening, we can clear all the scavenge space and remove dry deposit and such from the scavenge space. Okay. After opening, we can clean the scavenge space and remove all the carbon and such deposits. And we need to check the cylinder liner, piston rod, piston crown, piston skirt and all for damage. Okay, what are the things we need to check after the if a scavenge space fire has been cooled down means we have to check for piston rod, piston crown, piston skirt and cylinder liner for any damage and all. Okay, here we can know piston skirt, piston rod, piston ring, piston crown, cylinder liner, scavenge space door. We have to check everything for the damage, whether it is condition, we have to check the condition, how the level of damage and all there after the scavenge fire has been totally extinguished and cooled down. Then we have to check tightness of the tie rod because after some fire has happened, we have to check the for tightness if something due to stress or vibration, anything has happened or not. We have to properly check the tightness of the tie rod. Then we have to inspect the stuffing box. 
and bottom of the scavenge space for possible cracks. We have to check the stuffing box and bottom of scavenge space for if there is any possible cracks and all, which might lead to another fire or possible fire and all. So we have to inspect the stuffing box and bottom of scavenge space for possible cracks and all. Then we have to decrease the after it, it is totally extinguished. We have to decrease the cylinder oil supply. We have to after a fire extinguishment all inspection all finished. We have to decrease the cylinder oil supply. Then we need to restart the engine. After that we need to restart the engine. Thank you.